today I have this opportunity to work with a couple of divers and they're gonna show me how to run, you know, not a little tiny camera, but a kind of a rig. The act of taking the photograph kind of consolidates your focus on trying to see something down there. And there's a kind of an extra magic where you're bringing a little bit of that underwater life back to the surface to, to, to look at and to share. We use technology, I think, to kind of both deepen our appreciation of something, but also to expand the way of sharing it with other people. He's gonna turn off the edges and then he's gonna yell dive. Yeah. So that I will yell dive, 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 dive. We're off Boye Island and we're just directly above a rock pinnacle. And this pinnacle is covered with sea life. Maybe not as densely as the tropics, but certainly a beautiful place to dive here in British Columbia. You know, if I had a wish, it would be to visit another planet where life had evolved completely differently. We live in air with gravity and they live in water with weightlessness. And when I drop down into the ocean, it is another planet. I'm just deeply in love with that. Sometimes you get in the water here, you can't see your partner if he's six feet away from you on the top. But when you get down below, it'll open up and suddenly you're underneath the cloud. Then life just springs into motion there. It's really hard to say that there's a favorite specific moment or a few seconds underwater. That would be like trying to choose the best food you've ever eaten. Almost impossible. It's the variety of all those solutions to living on the planet underwater that kind of cumulatively I love. I'm just kind of an average guy you know, who loves nature and has always loved small creatures. And to go underwater and find that there's a whole fresh universe of them is like it's this enormous gift. You know, I'm glad I didn't wait any longer. At one point, there was a study being done about how to try and conserve and protect underwater ocean resources around British Columbia. And I said, you should really protect these dive sites too, because these are rare and special ecosystems. You know, and almost nobody has seen them. So I got my photographer friends to go underwater and document these beautiful dive sites in northern British Columbia, these, some of the finest cold water diving in the world. You needed to see the photographs and you needed to see the moving images underwater to really get a feeling for the magic that's down there. I'm desperate to have people aware of the ocean and aware of these ecosystems in order to kind of help protect them. And nobody is really speaking for them. The whales have a lot of people speaking for them now, but all the undersea creatures that are a little smaller don't get a lot of press time. The visibility today, not so great because sometimes we get algae blooms and it really fills the water with algae. But it didn't really matter to me because I was just going down to try out a camera. And I'm um, just looking back at some of the shots and some of them turned out really well. Well, the water's always nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, today there's a lot of algae in the water. Since it's my first time down, I was very happy to take just a picture of a big starfish. <laughs> you know, the greatest pleasure for me was going down there and realizing that I could take this big piece of equipment, which is heavy on land and it's not heavy underwater. It's Thank way you. easier to use the big rig than I thought. With both handles? Even with one handle, you could actually float by and, and do one like this and pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. So you can almost be drifting by something, push the button, and then it'll take the picture when the time is right. It's hard to see detail underwater, but the camera can see it. So it becomes your kind of dive buddy in there. Want to see a photograph? She was shooting with these big video lights underwater, and I realized it made this beautiful backlighting against these lovely plumous anemones. They look like they might be solid, but if you actually squeeze them, they're more like they're made out of silk. It doesn't matter what you do down there, it's always fun. <laughs> For me, I think the difference of having a camera is it's going to give me just one more reason to get up in the morning, to go out in the boat, you know, to, to take the camera, to go down, to try and see something a little differently. It's not just another dive, it's like it turns out to be a kind of a journey to try and find a couple of images that can remain with you. That's really cool. You can really dive for a very long time as long as you're fit. I'm looking forward to quite a lot of diving, you know, in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm.